Hello Fiction Sheiks, welcome back to the channel. This is day five of 31 Days of Clowns. Today I'm gonna be turning myself into Circus Baby from Five Nights at Freddy's Circus location. Fun fact, I've actually never played any of the FNAF games, but I do listen to the fan-made music, like JT Bushidema, DA Games, Living Tombstone, quite frequently. So I know the lore, never actually played it myself though. Okay, this is a pretty intense eye look and I think it looks kind of silly right now, but I think once I put on the eyeliner and the rest of the makeup, it'll come together. So I used green, red, and blue from the Neon Brights eyeshadow palette. I went with green because her eyes are green, and then I added the blue because I saw other people use blue in their cosplay, and I liked it, and then I added red around because one, red is her color. Two, I needed to cover up some white face paint patchiness, and three, under eye red makeup looks a little scary, and you know, she's a killer clown, so. It works. Wow, okay, there's a lot of stuff on my face. So I tried to record the lines on camera, but that wasn't working, I needed a mirror. Now I'm going to take this grayish, silverish, purplish, strange mix of colors to attempt to shade these lines. I wanna to try to make it look like these are all like mechanical pieces on top of my face that open up, cause you know, that's how babe, circus baby works. Will my shading idea work? I don't know, let's find out. Along with shading the lines, I'm also giving myself a bit of contour shading along the jawline and under the cheekbones, cause I felt like this cosplay needed it. Well, I don't know if the shading made it look like pieces that will come apart, but it does make it look older and dirty and not so flat, so I'll take it. Anyway, I'm gonna make my eyebrows blue now with the face painting kit that I've been using. No, I need to use the dark blue. Okay, makeup is done. I used the same lipstick that I've been using because you know what? This is a good lipstick, okay? And it's the perfect color for clowning. I used ice cream for my TikTok videos because that is very on brand for Circus Baby. Completed cosplay! This wig is a mess and a half. Okay. I think this wig's a little too small for my head because no matter how I position it, there's always my real hair showing somewhere. It's very annoying. <laughs> yep, there it is. And it's even more in the back. I... <sighs> Aside from the wig not fitting my head, if we just ignore that, I look really fucking cute with red hair. Yeah, this is a good look. This is very much Ariel hair. I could see me using this wig for an Ariel cosplay, but that's for a different time. See, I told you once I got all of the lines on and everything, the makeup would look a hell of a lot better. There's a lot going on here, but it works. For the costume, I have on this matching crop top and skirt red velvet two-piece. Fun fact, I got both the skirt and the shirt from the thrift store, but at different times. I got the shirt first, and then months later I was at the thrift store, and then I saw the skirt, and I'm like, I have a shirt that matches that perfectly. I now need this skirt. So now I have both pieces, and it works great for a circus baby cosplay. This little mechanical stomach piece here, I made it out of waffle box cardboard and paint. Never underestimate the power of thin cardboard and acrylic paint if you are on a rush or a budget and you need to cosplay stuff, cardboard. I quite like how the midriff is showing because Circus Baby looks like she's wearing a crop top and skirt, but she's a robot, so not really. But the point is she has the white midriff with her little belt buckle thing in the center of her stomach as well. So this actually works out perfectly. Fun fact, I duct taped this to my stomach. I don't really recommend you duct tape things directly to your skin, but fuck it. I have on these elbow length white shiny gloves. It's shiny, so it's kind of like metal. And you know, she's a robot, so she's shiny like metal. And she's also straight up white, so this works for that. Also, it's just a nice little accessory to make my cosplay slightly more interesting. <laughs> also to go with her white robotic skin. I have on white fishnets and red converse. I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing my red converse a lot, cause so far a lot of these characters have been wearing red clown shoes. And now look at the completed outfit. Yeah, I look so cute right now. This, this cosplay is adorable. All right, I think that's everything I had to say about this cosplay. There is something in my eye. My God, it is irritating. I think it's makeup. Just gonna pull that forward and gone. Illusion has returned. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in tomorrow for the next clown cosplay for 31 Days of Clowns. I'm still one character behind, so if you have any clown character ideas, leave a comment and maybe I'll add it to the list. While you're down in the comments, scroll a little bit up to check the description box so you can find my link tree. On my link tree, you can find my Instagram, my other Instagram, my TikTok, and a whole bunch of other stuff involving me. So if you'd like to see more of me, click that link. I will see you in the next video. Bye!